asking who the hell you think you are? Him, 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 him and him. They keep asking who the hell you think you is? Him, 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 him and him. I told the people, yes, I'm him. I did the impossible, but I'm not him. Gotta be about it. It's gonna hit him on the rim. It's better with a bitch. We gon' study this thing. I ain't gotta fight them tonight. That was for real. Country, I'm trying to give me your meal. You want some violence? You got your deal, Mr. Bush. We feel. Tell me how you feel. No, I'm not from Dallas, but yes, I'm a cowboy. Damn boy, we making that noise. They bring the beat. I'll be looking like a house. Got a defensive line that'll make them sit down. Boy, I can deal. I'm a but still making touchdowns. In their hometown, I ain't been out once. I've been a big bully since I was on the playground. I'm all grown up, and I still don't play around. I ain't trippin', this is easy, easy Got them excited to meet me, meet me I got diamonds, you got CZs, CZs Wake up, get to it, and repeat, repeat hey, I ain't hear nothing hate to say Let us talk about it My whole crew is about a hundred deep Gotta walk around it I kill it and then I walk away Put the chalk around it I just get low key and watch them talk about it Talk about it I'm in New York and we finna get loose. Squeeze the big apple and give me the juice. Don't wanna talk, I just do what it do. My alter egos can fill up a room. Hop on the flight, take a trip to Peru. Yeah, hop in the whip that this mess. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Titans and the Commanders. All that and more. Coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the AFC champion, Tennessee Titans, taking on the NFC champions, the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this Commanders team coming into play here today. It's been a good season for them so far. They're just looking to keep that momentum going forward. They like their record. Now they want to increase it. A win here could really get the momentum going in the right direction. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, and this is what every one of these guys waits for each and every week, CD, that moment of anticipation just before the game begins. I know most of these guys have played well over 100 games dating back to their high school days. Imagine that number if you go all the way back to the Little League type of ball. But that excitement before... Titans defense heading out here in the big one, the Super Bowl. And one of their stalwarts all season long has been this man at corner. Hey, run. Going to the air right away, Lawrence. First and 10 at the 38. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. It's a throw again is Lawrence. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two from the 42 now. Here's second and two. Again, it's Pacheco. And the 
second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. I tell you, he brings the wood when he comes flying up and run support. He may be a safety, but he hits like a linebacker. Lawrence on third down. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. The Titan defense ready to defend this next drive. They lead 7-0, trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Second and ten now, it's Lawrence. Incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Lawrence going to throw again. He'll find Hodgins there complete. And he's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. And that's how you shake off the interception and throw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Martin Emerson. And the Titans will take over here at their own 14-yard line. The Tennessee defense back onto the field. They've already forced a couple of first-half interceptions, including one on the previous drive, as they potentially look for another here. Now Lawrence on first down, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. That one deep for Hodgins. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. They decided the opportunity. The Titan defense ready to defend this next drive. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. And that one complete to Hodgins. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Here's Lawrence. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down, Washington, on a pickup of 18. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Again, it's Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. The Tennessee defense back onto the field. Hey, hey, hey. Take right open, open. Here we go. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Third and two, now Lawrence. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to... The Titan defense ready to defend this next drive. It's one, six, 24. 30 left. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Final play of the half, it's Lawrence. Oh, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Picked off by Kenny Moore, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So... The Tennessee defense back onto the field. They've done a really nice job of slowing the tempo of this offense, and as a result, they've got a comfortable third quarter lead as this next drive begins first and 10. On first down, Lawrence. He completes it to Jones. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Pacheco headed right. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. And a quick throw there is incomplete. The Titan defense.
defense ready to defend this next drive. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. There he goes left side. And a good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First and 10 at the 34-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Left side here, taken in by Metcalf. Touchdown, Washington! The Commanders are able to at least. The Tennessee defense back onto the field. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Toss right side to Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Lawrence will throw. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Welcoming you back to Super Bowl 61. Three quarters in the books and ready to go for the fourth. The Titan defense ready to defend this next drive. Hey, go, go! Lawrence. Short throw to Smith. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Now Lawrence. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Catch is made by Metcalf. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Washington. D.K. Metcalf. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Commanders get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Yep. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.
Hey, we gotta bring it in one more time. Come on, boys, bring it in. I can't believe it's over. Got a lot to improve on, guys. Next season, okay? This is just the beginning for us. Hey guys, remember one thing. You got here in the first place. We will get back here again. Don't forget that. <laughs>